hi guys ooh happy little day today now i saw this in video the other day it's so funny like i can't believe it's real and not like some sort of sketch and it just made me go down this massive rabbit hole that i wanted to bring you all down today together now so without further ado let's just watch i just found out i'm up for two grammys my very first time you guys my name is bobby storm and i'm up for two grammys <laughs> Shine your light. Are you going to be quiet? But they're enjoying it. So while we're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. That's so why I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay, well, that's I a yes, find that up. That's a yes or no uh, answer, please. Am I going to go to jail if I don't? Can you please answer my question? Are you willing and able to be quiet right now? I'm doing what the Lord is telling me to do. I'm asking you a question, yes or no. I'm your flight leader. I need you to follow my instruction. Okay. My instruction for you to answer my question. Are you able to be quiet? What right do you guys now? think? Ah! I'm asking you, ma'am. Ah! I'm asking you guys. Uh -uh. What do you guys think? Okay. If you're not able to, be, to follow my instruction, yeah. you will not be taking this flight. Ah, uh, okay. Are so you able to be asking. quiet? If that's the case, then that's fine. If you were the so person that's yes. in charge of it all. I'm your flight leader, yes. If you were the person in charge okay. of it all, then that's okay. fine. Okay, all right. So I'd never heard of Bobby Storm before. But, I mean, apparently she's up for two Grammys. And then I found this other video on Facebook that shows a little bit about what happened before the video I just showed you that I saw on TikTok that like, went super massive viral. I'm, I'm starting right now on the billboard. I can sit down and I'll sit down. I'll sit down. It starts out with her being like, I'm charting right now on the billboards. <laughs> this guy's like, dude, be quiet so there must have been something that happened even before this video that happened before the video we just watched she must have been standing in the aisle singing i couldn't find anything before this video like footage wise that was happening on this plane but was she just standing in the middle of the aisle singing the seatbelt signs off the seatbelt signs off it's not a disturbance once you once you hit it's right here, babe. Okay, have a seat. I am. Okay. Have a seat. Okay, so watch me bless him. So I used to sing on planes a long time ago. I just found out I'm up for two Grammys. Okay, so that and that brings us to what we just watched. And she also says that she used to sing on planes a lot. So I'm just like why like is this a thing that happens i couldn't find any other videos of her singing on the plane but watching this just made me want to go down this rabbit hole because apparently this just happens apparently people do this all the time people just start singing on planes i thought that it was kind of just like common knowledge that people just want you to be quiet this is just so funny like i, <laughs> I cannot believe something this odd just like happened and the fact that she turned to the audience the live audience well what do you guys think silence dead silence and the whole sort of like do you know who i am like i have you know i'm charting on the billboard right now i'm on nominated for two grammy so everyone wants to hear me sing it's like a blessing for me to sing for these people the lord is calling upon me to like sing acapella to these people who just want to sleep on the plane because I got nominated for two Grammys is so wild. So then she posts this follow-up video talking about how Delta reached out to her after this video was posted. Hey, you guys, it's rest day for me. So the hair is looking a little crazy, but I wanted to follow up with you guys on Delta. Um, they did reach out to me. So whoever called, <laughs> um, I, I, I can't say thank you because I don't want this man to be reprimanded. Um, where he loses his job. I simply want us to keep in mind how to treat each other. And um, there was no rules being broken. Uh. Um, and it was just me spreading my joy with people after they gave me the go uh. to do so. So I just hope that if he watches this, he's able to learn a valuable lesson on how to treat other people. <laughs> but I just want to say you guys can stop reaching out to Delta. They have apologized. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude, no one's reaching out to Delta to get this man reprimanded. They're probably like, give him a raise. I guess technically 
There's no written rule in the book that's like, don't sing on the plane. But if the flight attendant's like, dude, like, you need to be quiet. You're disturbing the other passengers. And then you're like, well, what do you guys think? And the audience, the live audience says nothing. I don't know why this keeps happening. Like, I keep seeing videos of this plane thing. And then I was like, oh my God, so many people are singing on the planes. And then I'm seeing like four different videos of Sia singing acapella at the dinner table. I'm like, I'm invincible. Yeah, I'm invincible. Yeah, I'm invincible. And I think the guy in the video was definitely firm with her and very frank, just like, I'm not enjoying it. We're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. So I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay, wow. Although I do think, yeah, he came off strong. Can you, like, guys, flight attendants have had to deal with so much bullshit within the past year, two years, three years even. So much more than I feel like I've ever heard of before. And they're like just so underpaid and so undervalued. Think about all of the plane videos that you've seen of within the past like couple years of people like throwing these drunk spats, people refusing to wear their mask. And it's like people have to emergency land planes and kick people off because people are being rude and not cooperative. So then she posts this follow up again because I guess apparently people are saying that she was lying about Delta reaching out to them. So I wanna share with you guys my point of view and everything that happened on this flight. So we got on a plane, we all boarded, but the music was so loud in the speakers. They were playing top 40 on the speakers. And I had this unction to sing for people because I've sang on a lot of flights before. And I do know the rules from doing that. As I'm sitting in my seat, I'm telling- I'm like, why? But, but, but why? Telling my neighbor, I really want to get up and sing on this flight. And she's like, sing on a flight. And I'm like, yeah, I used to do that back in the day. And I'm feeling it right now. I haven't done it in years, but I'm feeling like sharing my joy with people. Cause I just got nominated for the first time for a Grammy. And she was like, okay, do it when we land. And I was like, well, when we land, everybody's going to be standing up. So the people in the front won't be able to see me, hear me. And that's just not what's on my spirit. So if God wants it to happen. Even the person that's sitting next to her is like, it's like, okay, well, maybe when the plane lands and like people can get off, maybe you can sing then. And then the flight attendant comes over and is like, stop singing and then she still has the audacity to look around and be like well what do you guys think they made an announcement and said we have to go back to the gate there's a brief maintenance issue i knew instantly that was god now yep. because i've sang in so many different public places i've never felt nervous around it but this was god and i knew it i literally was like shaking so instantly when it happened and he made the announcement i knew since i fly a lot that we would end up having the opportunity and the freedom to get out of our seat please speak through me allow my words to come out and allow me to lead with grace allow me to lead with love and peace lord allow me to share your message in the way that you need me to i'm so nervous right now that i want to cry god what's what's the problem with asking people and them giving me the go to share who gave you the go you just started the flight is being delayed. Everyone's already on the plane because they had to do maintenance. So already all of these people are going to get to where they have to go even later. It's like already such an inconvenience. And you're just like, you know what? I'll really make these people feel better that are already probably frustrated with the fact that that the flight's going to be late. I think I'm just going to start singing. <laughs> I'm like, dude, also, how is this proof? You literally just, like, have this contact in your phone as Delta Airlines. This could be, like, your mom or something. Like, it doesn't, that's, this isn't proof that they called you. And it's not like she's, like, a bad person, obviously. It's like, she didn't really do anything. She's not hurting anyone. You know what I mean? But enough. Like, it's, it's not God calling you to, like, do a mission or something. You're just being annoying. And I, <laughs> and I think... It's completely valid to be so excited. I mean, she got nominated for a Grammy for, for the first time. That's like a huge accomplishment. And I think that that should be celebrated. And it's like so warranted to be excited about it. But I'm like, okay, if the flight attendant is coming over to you like several times and telling you 
to sit down and just be quiet and just respect the other people around you. The person who's sitting next to you on the plane is even like, I don't know if you should do that. And you're just not listening. What is going on? <laughs> why are you doing this then? What is the Lord? Like, why is the Lord? Like, you're just bragging. Isn't that like a sin? And then when I Google, cause she says she's been singing on flights forever and like singing in public all the time. But then when I Google it, the only stuff that's coming up is this one flight that she sang on. So this brings me to the huge rabbit hole I started going down of people just singing in planes. Like this just happens sometimes. And I didn't realize this really was like a thing that happened this much. Like I've seen videos this year of people freaking out on planes. I've seen people getting like escorted off the plane, but I've literally like never seen so many videos of people singing on planes until all of a sudden I'm looking into it after this Bobby Storm video and it's like this just happens like people just start doing this Like, this guy's just not having it. But then these people are, like, sing joining in. I'm like, how do you guys know this? And then it's like, no one's stopping them. He's got the full... He's got a guitar on the board. I'm like, how'd you even bring that on the plane? And the consensus on a lot of these videos is, like, when I'm on a flight, I want peace and quiet. Even people that are Christian are just like, I don't want people to, like force the religion on people it shouldn't be shoved in people's faces like that so this one's not like a christian song this is just like some random guy singing something are like oh yes this is life i wish i had someone to sing on my flight i had a bunch of boring sods snoring away but this one i just can't help but wonder if it's staged because i'm like what's going on with the floor what are these lights these are like the lights that you buy off like tiktok shop regardless for the people who think it's real everyone's like this is awesome this rocks but then bobby storm you know tries to sing a little a little worship music and all of a sudden everyone hates it it's got me thinking hey maybe maybe it's not that bad of an idea after all maybe if bobby started singing a little bit of yellow submarine it would have been a lot different in that flight would have been a lot different in there a lot of it anyway here's another one i'm just gonna sing a little gospel song and i hope you enjoy it <laughs> kind of clapped for her right i guess people at least clapped for her but everyone that's seeing this one like no one has a problem with it even people on the plane are like clapping there's one person one person i would have yelled at her to shut the hell up and sit her ass down i just didn't realize so many people sang worship songs on the plane i'm like when they can't leave when i think about singing on the plane i'm like i feel like any song people will kind of be like that's enough like wrap it up Wrap it up. I guess if it's the right crowd, put a little Sweet Caroline on. Touching me, touching you. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Your times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. Ba, ba, ba. All it takes is singing a classic. 
All it takes is singing a song that everyone knows. Everyone knows Sweet Caroline. Everyone knows Hey Jude, even though the Hey Jude one definitely not real. The comments are over here like, you know what? Put me on a flight like this. I don't even care if I'm trying to sleep. I don't even care. I thought that everyone would be like, dude, sit down. But like, even on this flight, the flight attendant's even doing it with them. And guys, it's not just random people. It's not just Bobby Storm. We've got people like Louis Capaldi singing on the flights. He's flying coach. He's not even flying private. It's kind of awesome. Kind of cool of him, you know? It's not wasteful. He doesn't want to do any waste. It's like, okay, I'll just take the regular flight. I don't care. Fine with that. I actually like that about him. But now he's out here singing on it. And I'm going to sing some songs for the passengers. Um, no so anything from the trolley. When is it okay to sing on a plane? And when is it not? And what song should you sing? Because I really think it depends on the crowd. And it's like, what's plane etiquette? I thought plane etiquette was like, hey, everyone just be quiet. But for this, it's like, he's just singing his song on the plane, but we don't get actually any footage of him really singing the song, except for this. And there's like a camera back there. I'm like, is this one even real? I don't know. I just feel like I'm learning so much through this journey. Like, I guess, I guess it is okay sometimes to sing on the plane in the middle of the flight. If it's a song everyone knows, or if you're this this guy who's famous, then people think it's awesome. But when Bobby Storm gets nominated for two Grammys and she wants to sing, all of a sudden she's gonna get kicked off the plane? Guys, they've even got the flight attendant. The flight attendants are singing on planes at this point. No one's safe. It's like anyone can just go up there and sing on the intercom. <laughs> Guys, 6 a.m. belting. She's got the telephone. She's not even just doing it out loud. She's doing it over the speaker. I'm just trying to figure this out, like, because I don't know what to think. I'm going to be flying for the holidays soon, probably. It's like, maybe I should give this a go. Maybe I should try this, because everyone kind of likes it if you sing a song that everyone likes. But if you sing about the gospel, don't do that. Fine. Wasn't going to do that anyway. But I get a little Margaritaville going, sing a little Louis Capaldi in first class, and hey, what's wrong with that? Everyone's like, what's wrong with that? Well, I guess you have to be Louis Capaldi. I think it's just, in conclusion, probably don't do this, I guess. Probably don't sing on the plane. It's probably safest to just not. The common consensus is no one likes a yapper on the plane. No one likes a crying baby on the plane. But for some reason, people like a Sweet Caroline on the plane. Do not sing the Christian stuff, but sometimes people like it. I don't know, I'm just confused. I'm like, am I going nuts? Sometimes people love this. And I think compared to the other videos of people singing Christian songs or whatever, people are kind of more annoyed at the Bobby Storm thing because of the entitlement, I guess. You know, the like attitude of I'm on Billboard right now. I just got nominated for two Grammys. So like, that's why I'm doing this. I'm just excited. It's not really about like, god calling on her it's just she just wants to brag you know and she just feels like she's more important and like it's a blessing to these other people because she's on the plane it's like she's this big deal or whatever i feel like it's kind of something where you just gotta read the room if no one's singing along no one's clapping if the flight attendant's coming over telling you to be quiet the person next to you is like i don't know if you should do it when you call on the audience to be like, well, what do you guys think? No one says anything. Maybe that's not the right crowd. Maybe it's a bit too tough of a crowd for you to sing on the plane. But hey, if everyone's in a good mood, maybe they're going on vacation or something. You want to sing a hit? You want to sing, you want to sing a little Sweet Caroline? Maybe that's a different story. I don't know. I just think this is insane and like kind of funny. I just think this is really funny. I want to talk about it with you guys just for no reason for fun. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe. I upload two to three times a week. I don't even know anymore, guys. And I also make music under the name Dev Lemons. I also have a band called Queef Jerky. It's really fun. We just put out a song called Liver. I put out an EP towards the beginning of this year, towards the middle of this year, whatever, called Delusional. It means a lot to me. And it would mean a lot to me if you guys checked out my music. Thank you guys for watching and for your support. Watch till the end. That's crazy. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great little day. And let me know what you think of all this. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about next. I don't know. Okay. Bye, guys.